My voice sounds like shit right now, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So the first time we see Spartans in action, Clad Mjolnir is in the Battle of Chai City 4 in 2525. By the time of that battle, the program was in its fourth iteration, the Mjolnir Mark IV. In 2515, the Mjolnir was tested after several years of development, and it was bulky, unwieldy, and had to be tethered to a power source, which was an obvious drawback. Of note, it improved the stamina of the wearer, could assist in lifting two tons, and run at 20 miles an hour. The Mark II system was an overhaul of the Mark I design, streamlining the profile to increase agility. It also included a refractive coating to help disperse heat from explosions and self-sealing systems in the event of damage or in vacuum. It's kind of curious why this feature wasn't implemented in the Mark IV program. <coughs> Sam034. The Mark III program was the first iteration to utilize a wireless power receiver which removed the need for a physical tether. Unfortunately, this was still very impractical in a battlefield setting. But in just 10 short years, the Mjolnir program saw its first prototypes to a complete overhaul by Dr. Halsey in what we see in Halo Wars in 2531 and Blue Team in the Fall of Reach, which takes place in 2525.